Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, we are looking at My Backup Pro today. Now, My Backup Pro is an app that we've reviewed in the past, but there is a new feature of it that we're going to concentrate on today called Migrate. It's perfect for when you get a new phone and you want to transfer your stuff over directly from your old phone to your new phone. Very cool feature, and it's great for the beginner uh, as well as the pro. It's uh, you know it really works uh, slick as long as both devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. Now. You can transfer data, apps, music, photos, pictures, uh, text messages, uh, your calendar, contacts, whatever. It's pretty much everything. You can even transfer your app data if you're rooted. You're going to have to be rooted on both devices. So uh, assuming you get a new device, you're going to have to get that rooted quickly in order to do this. But um, I would imagine if you are rooted, you probably won't care about the app data so much because you've got it somewhere else in the cloud saved anyway with some other type of backup. So that's not a big deal. But uh, let's go. I'm going to show you quickly the phone log on this Galaxy S4. We're going to treat this as the new device and the Moto X as the old device. Interestingly enough, I don't want you to confuse this. The Moto X does have its own Migrate app by Motorola. This is not the same thing. This is My Backup Pro. It's actually a better app as far as the things that you can transfer, transfer as well as the versatility of selecting what you want. So this is uh, really cool. Now, there's no call logs, as you can see. It's empty. So I just wanted to point that out now. Before we do this magic trick, no, it's not a magic, it's uh, pretty cool. So, all right, my backup pro, we're going to go, oh, I, actually, I was into it earlier before, so let's uh, let's just actually close it so I can show you, because uh, it's looking for um, something to transfer. Okay, so we'll go to the main menu here, and it's um, it, it'll also ask you to set up an account if you don't already have one uh, for cloud storage, but again, that's part of the other features of my backup pro. Uh, again, you can look at our uh, previous review for all the other stuff. So we'll go in the migrate here, and it's sent sent from this device or received to this device. This is the new device, so we want to receive. So that's where we were when I went in. Um, the app was still open. So it's basically looking for another device, which we don't have set up yet. We're going to right now. So that's going to hang there. And we're going to go over here, and we're going to select Migrate on the Moto X. Now we're going to click, uh, tap on Send because we're sending. Now there's two sections here, so you'll break it up into two areas, Data and Applications. I'll look at both, but right now we'll start with Data. And you can see all the things that you can choose here, your contacts, your call log, your bookmarks, uh, SMS, MMS, um, you know, your dictionary calendar, the works. But right for now, to keep things simple, I am going to go with just the call log. So you can select all of them or just check what you want and we're going with call log and we'll go ahead and hit OK and there it is 34 of them and it's being received right here it's done and that's very easy as you can see now it does say restart your device which I don't know if that's you know it varies by phone but this particular phone I do see the data right away without restarting my device but let's go back here we'll go to the phone and there they are there's the call log so uh, it transferred all of them over. Now I do recommend you probably should shut down the device just to make sure there are no issues, especially when you're transferring a lot of different things. Right now I'm only transferring call logs. So, but let's take a look at the other. Um, now we'll go back into migrate um, as well and receive. And let's now look at apps. Send from this device to another. Again, now we're going to uh, choose applications and media. Now. Um, if, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you know, there's a lot of different things you can uh, transfer here as well. Photos, music, videos. Now, if you're rooted, you can send over your app data. Uh, so, you know, you're, if, assuming, uh, you know, you'd have to have both devices rooted. So, uh, you know, for most people, that's not going to be the case. So you can select what you want. You can select all photos, all music, all videos, and all apps. Or you can tap here and select individually. Now, I'm just going to select a couple of apps here that I know aren't on this device, uh, Google Sky Map and uh, MLB Preplay. Let's go ahead and select two to show you exactly what happens. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And now it's waiting for the um, sender or the receiver. And there it is. Both apps are going over. Now this is what's going to happen uh, with apps. You still have to install them and approve all the different uh, uh, you know, privacy issues and things like that. So um, we're going to get, we get Google Sky Map as first. We're going to go ahead and tap install. You have to have third-party 
uh, uh, third party um, installation turned on as well and then you can open it or say done we're gonna say done because we're gonna have another one then it'll be preplay so there's a few uh, there's two pages here of different things and then um, for different access and things that you're gonna approve and then we're gonna go ahead and hit install and it's gonna install them now in case you're worried these apps and what I'm told I haven't been able to test this yet but I'm told by the developer that these apps will be part of um, Google Play so they will get updated through the normal way even though you're installing this as a third party APK in a sense um, and so it should work so again you can open the app or hit done and, and you're done so again it's going to tell me to restart the device but those apps will be there now um, I didn't um, show you that they weren't there before but trust me they weren't MLB preplay is right there and um, What's the other one? What would, I already forgot what I sent. Oh yeah, Google Sky Map, and there it is. So it works perfectly. My great, uh, my great feature on the My Backup Pro. It's easy. Piece of cake. Grab a new phone if you're getting one. Grab My Backup Pro and transfer your stuff over like nothing. And you can pick and choose what you want, which is what I love the the most about it. It's on Wi-Fi, so you have a lot of stuff. It could take a little bit of time, and you won't be able to do other things with either of the phones while that's happening. But it is a great feature, and I definitely recommend it. My Backup Pro. Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.